Hello everyone, you are welcome to this video on Digital Electronics course. Today we are going to work on numbering systems, exercise 31 part C. This exercise is related to the conversion of fractional decimal number to fractional binary number. The, the same, the fractional decimal number to fractional octal number and finally the fractional decimal number to fractional hexadecimal number. We will proceed to remainder on the conversion method. This remainder will be true an example. Example, convert the fractional decimal number 0.375 to binary number. This means finding coefficients. How to determine coefficients? b minus 1, b minus 2, and so on. Determination of b coefficients will be as follows. First, we take this decimal, decimal number and uh, multiply it by the base, which is 2 in this case, and uh, the result can be written like that. And uh, the integer part represents b minus 1. We take the fractional part of this number, which is 0.75, and we start again with the remaining decimal part. Now we multiply it by 2. This is the result. We can write it like that. 1 plus 0.5. The integer number, which is 1, is equal to b minus 2, and so on for the third uh, part we take this uh, fractional number and uh, we multiply it by two it gives one there is no fractional number it's equal to zero and this is the last operation and b minus three is equal to one so we, we, we stopped the operation when the fractional part is zero like this case or when the desired precision is ratchet. So, 0.357 in uh, the decimal base is equal to uh, 0.011 in binary system. Now we will proceed to uh, uh, solve this exercise. It consists in converting uh, this uh, fractional decimal number in base 2 in by the octal and in hexadecimal. For the first operation consisting in converting this number to binary in binary system, we search for b minus 1, b minus 2, b minus 3, and so on. We take this uh, fractional decimal number, uh, as the base is 2, we multiply it by 2, we obtain this number in which the integer number is 0. So, b minus 1 is equal to 0 and we take the this fractional part and we multiply it by 2 it gives this number in which 1 is the integer number it's equal to b minus uh, 2 and so on we take the fractional part of this uh, result and we, we multiply it by 2 and so on and we can stop when the uh, precision desired is uh, ratchet. So, for example, uh, here we take uh, we continue uh, to b minus eight, which equal to zero. And uh, the final result, this a uh, this uh, fractional decimal number converted in uh, uh, binary system, it gives this result. The same in this conversion to octal. We take the fractional decimal number like that and we multiply it by 8, by the base. The result is that we take the integer part of this result, it equal to O minus 1, is the first uh, coefficient. And uh, we take this uh, uh, fractional part and we multiply it by the base by uh, 8 
we obtain this result in which three is the integral number and o minus uh, minus two is equal to three and so on here we stopped at this uh, uh, operation which gives uh, five plus this uh, fractional number and uh, o means eight it's equal to five the final result 0.432 in decimal system converted in octal gives this result. And finally, for conversion in hexadecimal uh, system, the operation is the same. We take this number, we multiply it by 16, it gives this result. The integral of this uh, part is 6, so the first coefficient is equal to 6 the same we take this uh, uh, fractional part and we multiply it by 16 it gives this result in which 14 is the integral number 14 is uh, represented by uh, a and uh, uh, this is the second coefficient and so on to the last operation and uh, finally the conversion of this uh, fractional decimal number to octal to hexadecimal give this result okay thank you for your attention